head you're going to find. Your top of your head goes down. Now this is like a support. Okay, imagine you're putting your bicycle helmet like this. Elbows in. Now I have a little triangle from my head to my elbows. You don't want to do this. Right? This. Know what's incorrect too. You have to be solid here. So your head's not going to take all of it. Straight your legs. Walk your feet in. Now, one of the tricks that, it, that I found to help me was now notice the side view. My hips are beyond my head. So that means I have weight going that way. Now I can lift my feet. So if you can get this, right, and then just put your feet down. Try this a few times first, right? Just a few, just see what it's like. And then it's going to be easy for you. You're going to raise one leg. And then you're just going to lift the other. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to do one at a time. Okay, once you get up here, if the person is very comfortable, have them start doing this on their own and just spot them. You don't have to help them. Spotting doesn't mean touching them. But try to move your legs up here like this. Okay? So this would be the first headstand we're going to do. There's obviously so many headstands, right? You got here. This one here, right? Tripod headstand. These headstands. Right? You have this. Get this. What else we got? This. This. Spin now. <laughs> yeah, how about this? How do you do this? How about no hand? Wow. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> and then anyway, once you master this, after you get this head stand down. Then the next thing will be, which will take more practice, will be the forearm stand. So, first, yeah. anyway, we're not going to get too stuck but this is my favorite one. It's easy to have to a little practice, right? Yeah. Just, just, more face down. Over here, almost here. How many hours do you think you've been upside down, James? A lot. <laughs>